He's only been knocked out once. His motto is KO first, ask questions later. Tonight, the 27-year-old Antonio Silva will take on 28-year-old Wesley Carrera, an inch height advantage for Antonio Silva, and a 23-pound difference between these two fighters here tonight as Antonio Silva hopes to utilize his jiu-jitsu and karate skills against the Muay Thai skills of Wesley Carrera. Ladies and gentlemen, Pro Elite presents the big man of the sport, Elite XC Super Heavyweights in the cage. We are scheduled three five-minute rounds in this special attraction. Introducing our three judges scoring from cage side, from Pittsburgh, North Carolina, Bill Clancy, from Memphis, Tennessee, Jeff Mullen, and from Edmond, Oklahoma, Gary Ritter. All right, fans, here we go. Introducing to you first, on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, standing six feet three inches, he weighed in at 275 pounds. Raised in the time-honored tradition of Muay Thai, his record stands at 18 wins, 11 losses, 14 wins coming by way of knockout and two submissions to his credit. Representing Team Cabbage and hailing from Hilo, Hawaii, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of MMA's toughest competitors, introducing Wesley Cabbage Correra. And his opponent across the cage on my left, fighting out of the red corner, standing six feet four inches and weighing in at a solid 298 pounds. An MMA fighter specializing in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and Karate. His record stands at seven wins, one defeat, with all seven wins coming by way of first round knockout. Representing American Top Team and fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, by way of Campina Grande, Paraíba, Brazil, known as Bigfoot, introducing Antonio Pesão. And now introducing our third man in the cage, our referee in charge, Steve Mazzagatti. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. We all expect a good, clean, fair fight. Obey my commands, protect yourself at all times, come out ready to fight. Hook them up, gentlemen, good luck. Guys, the X factor in this fight is that Antonio Silva has finished all of his fights, his wins, by knockout. He was knocked out in his only loss, controversial as it was. But the X factor is his submission skills. Jay, he has worked with some of the best submission fighters in the world. One name, Nogueira. Right, absolutely. You talk about the uh, the Brazilians down there. They're great stand-up, but they're even better. Probably the best submission game in the world of mixed martial arts right now. Anytime you talked earlier about training with the All-Pros, those guys are the All-Pros of All-Pros when it comes all to right, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira, without a doubt, is the best submission heavyweight in the world. So anytime you have a chance to work with the former Pride heavyweight champion, you know some of that talent's got to rub off on you. Although, in this fight, I don't know if it's going to go to the ground. No, it doesn't look like it. And if I was Cabbage, I wouldn't want to go there myself. Uh, I'd stand up and try to use that big uh, chin as a big target. And, uh, you know, the, the, the common opponent with these two guys is Eric Paler. And uh, Cabbage lost to him in his first fight. And Silva lost to him in his last fight. So let's see what happens. Here. Yeah, I talked to Cabbage right before this, uh, right, right when he arrived at the arena, guys. And he said, I can't wait to go in there, get hit in the head, and then start strong. That's something we haven't seen him a lot. Well, we're seeing it right now because he just got hit in the head a couple times. And we'll see what he's got coming back at him. One thing Cabbage told us, good cut kick there by Silva pressing the action. Cabbage said he was going to fight this fight smarter. He's known for some of the best brawls. And there we go. Silva taking it to the ground. So call me a liar. Liar, pants on fire. Well, I won't do that, but uh, if I know Silva, the hammer fists are about to rain down. I'll tell you what, Billy, you as a former wrestler, you have got to be impressed with how fast he got that takedown. The agility is incredible. Well, except for the fact that the wrestling that I did was uh, fake. <laughs> There's nothing fake about those right hands being delivered by Antonio Silva to the very hard head, and that's with all the respect to the world when I say that to Cabbage Carrera. What's so amazing too is these guys are such big brutes and they're you know they're such nice gentlemen, man. See there are the hammer fists. Uh -oh. Just unloading like, now on Cabbage for Cabbage well. right now. Soba with all the intensity, the power, the fury. 
hurry here, Jake. And he's trying to say Cabbage in the bottom is trying to tell the ref, no, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. Cabbage is a tough character. Remember his fight with uh, Tim Sylvia. Yeah, north-south position here by Antonio Silva. Maybe he's trying to set up a guillotine choke on Cabbage Carrera. We know that it's almost impossible for him to be knocked out. We'll see what it's like when it comes to submissions. There's some knees being delivered by Silva. Cabbage needs to go take a knee, get right back down so he cannot deliver those knees. Nice uppercut by Silva, follows it up with a straight left. Looks like Silva's got a point to prove here. And already, Cabbage Carrera showing the effects of that early onslaught by the Brazilian. You don't see a lot of heavyweights move the way we're seeing Silva right now. And you don't see a lot of super heavyweights definitely move like this. I have a feeling that Silva may pull a right head kick out here fairly soon. Why? Just because he can. <laughs> nice combination there as Carrera moved forward, but it was Silva answering impressively again. And so far, Carrera unable to get on track and another takedown attempt there, but Carrera was against the cage bill. Stopped very good by Carrera. Wesley doesn't want to go to the ground with this guy. But notice what Silva's doing also. He is not getting out there and trying to overexert himself. He's just... He is setting the pace of this. He's setting his pace exactly where he wants to go. He looks very, very calm. Bill, you're 6'4", 275 pounds, as we mentioned, NFL star, pro wrestling legend. These guys packing 275 and uh, 298 pounds, respectively. When will conditioning become a factor here? Well, you know, it's all about in, it's all about their preparation. Looks as if Silva's very, very calm. He's, uh, he's working with the Nagara brothers, and we all know about their condition. One of the most impressively conditioned athletes in the NFL, Jay, was Eddie George of the Titans, and he is sitting king side. Oh, yeah. high knees. Here we go, gentlemen. Oh, Looks Carrera like it's over. Is being rocked and decimated by Silva, and it is over. Antonio Silva destroys Cabbage Carrera, and Eddie George is enjoying it here, Jay. And I don't know if you guys saw it, but it was that high knee that did it. That's what dropped it. Got a nice tie clinch behind the head, pulled the head down, delivered the knee very nicely, and he did something that we just don't see a lot of. Cabbage get put down with a strike. Now, Cabbage is a tough character, and right there, right there, Silva proved something to everybody out there, and he proved something to me. What was scary about that was how easy he did it, you guys. Cabbage Carrera's been in what we said, Arlovsky, Silvia, Butterbean, uh, Tank Abbott, and he's never been treated like he was treated here tonight by Antonio Silva. The great thing here is Silva, at this point, still doesn't know what he doesn't know. I mean, he's still young to the sport. There's so much room for him to grow. It's going to be amazing when he when he starts to mature in his game, how much of a beast this guy's going to be. And you know what? After the interview we had with him, he's just sent a message to the Vancouver Athletic Commission after that very controversial loss to Pele at Bodog Fight in December of last year. No question. Here come the replay, guys. Started out very, started out very quickly for him. Started out very quickly. Here we go with the low kick. Yeah, this guy had something to prove, something to prove for sure. I mean, everybody's talked about his uh, lack of competition in his prior fights, finishing his first seven fights in a total of 17 minutes, man. I mean, he, he definitely wanted to come out here and dominate. Yeah, when he had him down, those hammer fists were, were raining down and, uh, you know, <laughs> The guy proved something to a lot of people out there, and I got to tell you, right when Gary Shaw came to me about Pro Elite and Showtime's uh, involvement in MMA, the first name that he mentioned to me was Silva. Antonio Silva definitely not paid by the hour as we take a look at the finishing sequence here. That big knee, Bill, you brought it up. Good call. The knee right to the jaw. Carrera was rocked, and then a flurry of lefts and rights. Carrera goes down, tastes the canvas, and for Silva, it's a victorious debut for Elite XC Destiny, destined for big things in the super heavyweight division. Let's throw it up now to classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of three minutes, 49 seconds in round number one. A referee in charge, Steve Mazzagotti, stops the contest due to strikes. He is the winner by way of technical knockout. Bigfoot, Antonio Pezal Silva. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Someone should call Coast to Coast Arpel. There's a Bigfoot sighting in Mississippi, and Jay Glazer is standing by with him now. And Tony Hill, great knock out there. He did something that most people are not able to do, and that's knock out or put down Cabbage Korea with a strike. Did you want to prove a point? Hey, your submission game is great, but did you want to prove a point by putting down the big guy with your strikes? Grande nocaute, você conseguiu fazer uma coisa que a maioria das pessoas não consegue, que é nocautear o Cabbage. Você queria provar um ponto, um, fazer um, provar alguma coisa com isso? Sim. Treinei bastante para isso e graças a Deus consegui. Yes, I trained a lot for this and thank God I managed. Uh, again, in going against a guy like Cabbage, was there ever any worry that you wouldn't be able to use those strikes to put him down? Lutando com uma pessoa igual Cabbage, você em algum momento se preocupou que não conseguiria é, derrubar o Cabbage com seus socos? A princípio sim. Mas sei que ele aguentava muita pancada, mas não era imbatível. E eu consegui provar, fui mais um a provar que isso é verdade. In the beginning, yes, but he knew that uh, Cabbage wasn't unbeatable, and he proved it. There's not a lot of heavyweights who move like him. What do you think, what does he think he showed the Showtime crowd, the American MMA community out there with such a big guy moving so well? Não tem muitos pesos pesados que consegue se movimentar igual você. O que, que você achou que você conseguiu mostrar ao Showtime e às pessoas que estão aqui com isso? Olha, consegui provar que não, não é por ser pesado que você não pode ser rápido, não pode ter agilidade. E isso, isso os pesados também podem acontecer. Eu treino desde os 4 anos de idade, treinei 13 anos Karatê e já estou há 10 anos no Jiu Jitsu. It's not because somebody's heavy that they can't move fast. I've been doing karate since I was four, jiu-jitsu for the last 10 years, and it can be done. What do you think is next for you? How rapidly would you like to move up in, in these leagues? O que que você acha que é o próximo passo para você? Qual a velocidade que você quer subir nesse jogo? Quero continuar nesse grande show. Que por ser o primeiro está sendo maravilhoso. Agradeço. Agradecer ao Gary Shaw, que me deu essa oportunidade aqui no Showtime a primeira vez, no Pro Elite. E eu quero voltar na próxima edição com mais uma vitória. Ele está muito feliz de estar aqui. Ele acha que pode ser um dos melhores. O seu objetivo é ser um dos melhores. Ele quer agradecer ao Gary Shaw, Showtime, e ele quer voltar. Ele quer um grande nível.